Hey, St. George's, Ray David here. St. George's, uh, the Lord has given me two clear words from Scripture to govern and give insight into this exciting time in our life together. The first is from 1 Samuel chapter 7, where Samuel uh, brings together the congregation of God's people of Israel, and, and he sets up a stone, and he names the stone Ebenezer. Up to this point, the Lord has been our helper. You see how that See how that's, that's retrospective, that's looking back, that's saying God has always provided for us. Up to this point, the Lord has been our helper, Ebenezer. The second point, the second word that the Lord has given me for this season is from uh, Genesis chapter 26, uh, where Isaac is leaving the, ho the homelands of Abimelech and the Philistines are chasing after him. He's digging out wells and eventually he comes to a place where he digs out a new well. And he names that new undisputed well, Rehoboth, saying, The Lord has made room for us, and we will be fruitful in the land. You see how Ebenezer looks back on God's faithfulness, and Rehoboth looks forward to the promises of God for the future? I think that's where we are together right now as a church family. We're at this, this precipice, we're at this moment, where we have resolved our legal dispute, and we're moving forward into a new home. Up to this point, the Lord has been our helper, and the Lord has made room for us. We will be fruitful in the land. Well, a couple of weeks ago, we held a special meeting. At that special meeting, we voted overwhelmingly to move ahead with our new home. Then, just last week, we uh, held our annual meeting, and at that annual meeting, you were presented with this packet entitled, Our New Home. It asked the questions, why? Why are we... Why are we building a new home? What are we building? And how are we going to do it? Please take some time and go through this packet. If you, if you already have one, uh, no doubt you've read through it already. If you have not yet received one, you can print out the PDF here immediately below. Just click on that Our New Home tab, and you can print it out and read through it. Also, another tab that you'll see beneath there is the pledge card. Uh, the pledge card is split into two halves. The top half is for you to fill out and keep at home. The bottom half is for you to uh, fill out and turn into the church. What we're asking is that you would prayerfully consider how the Lord is leading you to participate in building this new church home. We're asking that you would consider, first of all, uh, a one-time gift. We need money, we need some cash as, as quickly as possible in order to close the, the deal on the land to purchase the land. And what we're asking you to consider, what is the Lord calling you to give uh, by April of this year, April 30th of this year? The second thing we're asking you to consider is uh, pledged amounts over the next five years. What is the Lord calling you to give each year over the next five years af after we've moved into our new church home? Now, folks, as you consider this, you could be thinking about the amount that you're giving and maybe thinking about the amounts that other people can or cannot give. That's secondary. Just, just set that aside for a moment. When you're praying about this, invite God the Holy Spirit to, to examine your heart, to look at the attitude of your heart, to, to move you to sacrificial generosity. That's the principle out of which we, we give and we participate in this project. Sacrificial generosity. Which means you can be sacrificially generous and, and end up giving $5. It's like the widow's mite. Or maybe sacrificial generosity for you looks like $500,000. Only you know as you seek the Lord's leading in this matter. Please allow sacrificial generosity to be the uh, governing principle as you pray about this. And so you can fill out your pledge card and bring it in. Uh, we've set aside April the 8th, Easter Sunday, as our, as our pledge Sunday. Uh, we will incorporate it somehow into the, into the uh, worship service. And truly bringing this pledge card in and pledging this before the Lord is going to be an act of worship on your part. Take time to pray about it and talk about it with your family. St. George's... Up to this point, the Lord has been our helper, and the Lord has made room for us. It's now time for us to be fruitful in the land. If you have any questions, if you want to discuss this any further, give me a call. Talk to Calvin or Dan, uh, and also stay tuned for our 
regional information meetings that will be coming up at the end of March.